two minute simmer. Do it in the microwave as well. Right, we're doing this. This cost a pound. <laughs> Lots of big spenders. <laughs> in a very expensive shop as well. Be an M, won't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so we're doing this because one of our subscribers, I believe it was Jenna, who said this is her favourite gravy and it's as good or better than any of a certain fast foods gravy. I won't mention the name, <laughs> um, Is it the Colonel one? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to try it. A bound! It's that. Mmm. Gravy. Don't want to be in a pie. <laughs> What's next? I do like gravy. What film? <laughs> Chicken something. Oh, I can't remember. Wallace and Gromit. Chicken uh, run. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mayflower Southern Style Gravy Mix makes 1.6 litres. Now we're just going to do um, 320 ml so we can dunk a few homemade chips in it just to see what it's like. And what you need to do, we're doing the microwave. You can do saucepan or microwave. We're doing microwave. Whisk 50 grams of the mix into 270 ml of cold water. In a casserole dish, we'll put it in a little dish, a little bowl. For 800 watt microwave oven, set time on full power for five minutes. Stir well after every minute. JD. So, we're going to whisk it as well so you can see if that, if it's lumpy gravy, and then we're going to ding it. And we're going to try it and see if it is really good and as good as. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, see you in a minute. Catch you in a mouth. So, we've got, what was it, 50 grams? Yeah. 50 grams of the gravy mix. You've still got a lot in the... Oh, it's barely made a dent in oh, it. You've still got all that in there. So it will make quite a bit. Now, 270 grams of cold water. Luckily, you can use tap water, because if it said bottled, we couldn't have it. Because there ain't none. No. And I think it's 270 ml. Well then, give it a damn good whisk in. Why is everyone stockpiling bottled water? Have they not got taps? I do do. Oh, it's probably because when you're in your air raid shelter, 50 feet underground, you ain't got running water, have you? It'd be like, was, did, was it Del Boy who made some air raid shelters and tried to flog them? No, 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 he did bottled water. Yeah, Peckham Spring. So, oh, has had a good whisk in. I don't think there's any, oh wow, there was a lump there. And then, we're not going to mark uh, microwave, we're going to, try again, we're not going to film the microwave, but we're going to wang it on five minutes, and after every minute, give it a stir like it says. And then, we'll show you what it's like, and tell you what it tastes like. Right, in a little bowl. It's going to thicken up when it cools as well. So, we gave that four minutes, yeah? Yeah. Not the five, because it was going really thick, and it was really hot, and it was starting to come over the side of the bowl, because it was that hot, and ours is not even an 800 watt microwave, so no. stir it after every minute, you might only need three to four minutes on it. So Steaming well. what it looks like. Now we'll go to the table, tell you what it tastes like. All right. Thickening up a bit. It's a bowl of gravy. Tom. <laughs> right, homemade chippies. They have stuck a bit. If you do homemade oven chips and you're fed up because they keep sticking to your tray, make sure you wash the chips before you put them in the oven because they start to make some stick. You can get there, I ain't even charging you. We'll dunk then, let's dunk. Oh, it's thickening well, up thickening now. Up, yeah. Mm, dribble straight away like that. That's the price. I like that. That tastes nice. You know what it needs? 
Salt pepper. Yeah, well, you can add probably add salt as well, but we need to try it as it is, and then we'll add a bit of salt and pepper. Everybody's palate's different, well, isn't it? Because I think it's plenty salty enough. I think that tastes better than, oh, I'm not wasting that, but instant gravy, granules. Mm. I don't know if you could make it with boiling water. I think you probably could. I might try it. That's really here. nice. Let's try now. Ah, a spoonful. Surprise, they ain't coming. Oh, that's better. And, right, that's got a real nice taste. Tastes like beef gravy, doesn't it? I think it's meant to be chicken, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's actually... Southern style gravy. What I didn't say. Oh, suitable for vegetarians. Suitable for vegetarians. That tastes like chicken or beef, meaty gravy, doesn't it? Mm. You wouldn't know that was vegetarian. It's really right. nice. It's worth a dabble. What was it, a pound? Mm -hmm. you Do you know what? Mm -hmm. I might get some more of them when we go, and I'm going to use that instead of gravy granules if yeah. we want quick gravy. I'm not making his own with stock and everything and for quickness not quite as quick as granules but it's going to be worth it because it tastes better i'm going to try doing it with granules with boiling water like you do your normal granules and see mm. what happens just do a small cup just to try it so you're not wasting too much if it don't work yeah well if it, it doesn't might. work you just put it in the microwave don't you yeah i think it will work oh yeah I like that. I've done a thumbs up. Yeah. For a quid, that's the best. Yeah, I'll class it as instant gravy because you're mixing it with water, bang it in the microwave, so it's like tipping you. What does it say? 1.6 litres overall. Yeah, makes a lot. Cause that's it's a hard. lot of gravy. When you think the average portion is, well, for your family of two or three. Yeah, I bet there's... 20 around here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I bet there's a good six servings in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a lot gone out of it, so. No. Oh, that's very good. It's worth having. All right, all right. as up. I say, thumbs up. Yep. Um, I'll be getting more of that. We've got another one to try, so I might make that one with a cup. Yeah, the next one we have got to theirs is extra hot curry sauce. That one I've got my doubts about, because I think it would just be curry powder. Um, well, we'll see. But I don't know, I'm not knocking it, because if it's as good as this one, then it's going to be all right. But curry, you know, we're going to be a bit more fussy on. Well, you right. <laughs> That's it, a quid from B&M. I bet you'll get it pound stretches anywhere that do cheapo stuff. Who makes it? Mayflower. Yeah, made on a ship. <laughs> but yeah. So did you actually getting... get that one? Yeah, I did. <gasps> Two hundred and fifty-five grand time. container. <gasps> <laughs> Pros and horses, if you're not that old. <laughs> right. Thumbs up. Job done. Yeah. Quid. And I'm recommending it and saying go out and get it because it's better than instant gravy granules. Yeah. And I think that tastes better than a real well-known instant gravy granules. It sounds like his though. Yeah. Yeah. Better oh, yeah. than the instant ones. That's really nice yeah. and I'm going to keep washing this now. So, All right, so let's go. We're off. See you later. See you later. Where's Zeus? He's going to want that one. Uh -oh. Are you digging in? He's, that's nice. <laughs>